So Zach, we're in the 8700S series tractor, uh, and we're, we're looking at the Datatronic 5 monitor here. Could you show me a little bit about AutoGuide? Yeah, so it's a very simple process to go in and actually set up guidance and make it run. So one option would be to swipe over to your guidance map. This is what you would see when you're running in the field, and then you can tap on the map to pull up a menu with the auto symbol which will take you into your guidance menu where you can make your settings or from your home screen you can hit your main menu you can hit your satellite symbol which is your guidance icon you either have a map option or you have your settings option so we'll choose the settings and then from here you can see we have a couple of different things that we can alter so up at the top you have your basic and advanced modes so this has to do with kind of functionality within the guidance. If all you needed to do is go in and set up a straight line to run back and forth, the basic mode allows you to quickly and easily go into guidance and go ahead and get set up to start running by clicking go. Okay, you can see the vertical till implement we have attached at 40 foot. Currently we have a foot and a half of overlap set. We have a draw bar pulled or a three point mounted implement option here. So we'll stay on draw bar. Let's say this vertical till from the hitch to the ground engaging portion of the implement is 12 feet. We'll go ahead and set that. And this has to do with how the implement shows up on our map. It has to do with how the implement paints and how the implement tracks behind the tractor. So let's click OK. And now we would choose the type of way line we want to use. So for this example, we're going to choose an A plus heading, which is a very simple means of running auto guide. And then you would click OK. And now it's going to take us into our map, and we're going to go ahead and say, what direction do we want to run? So for instance, right now we're facing 222 degrees. If we want to run a true north line, we could go ahead and tap on this and put a zero degree heading. Okay, and then you can click green check. And then we would want to drop the A point to tell it where to start. So for instance, we want to start it right here. I can click the A point, and from here it should make our line. Tractor's currently under a barn, not running, so it's not going to actually show up for us. So let's X out of this. Let's go back in the menu and look at the advanced setting. So now we'll toggle over to advanced. And in advanced, you can see many more features that you can operate. So for instance, when you're running in advanced, the number one thing you have to have is a field assigned for it to actually run. So the go mode field is already there from what we just did. Let's go ahead and make a new field by clicking the icon. Let's add a new one. So we'll just name this uh, test. Okay, so you can see our test field is loaded. The box right here is going to be your nudge amount. So if you need to nudge left or right, right now it's set to nudge at 0.8 feet and you would do that with these arrows. You can see down here at the bottom we have a 40 foot implement attached to the tractor. And you can see that's that vertical till tool that we created in an earlier video. We can make a change and pull up other saved implements by just tapping so we can go back to that 36 foot cultivator or the vertical till so we'll stay here. The 12 foot from the hitch to the ground engaging, 1.5 feet of overlap, we can click OK. So we're happy with our implement setup. From here, we can go ahead and either set a boundary around the field. We can assign obstacles within the field, and these will all be pulled up when you make a change to the field that you have displayed. And finally, we can create a wayline. So simply, you'll tap on the box. We want to add a wayline, which is the plus sign. And then we want to choose our wayline type. So for this example, let's stick with an A plus heading. Click your OK. Let's say we want to run that north-south line, so we could put in a heading of, again, zero degrees. We're happy with that angle. We want to drop our A right here. You can name your way line, so if you want to come back to this for future reference, I'll name this north. Okay. And now you can see our way lines were made in this example, but again, the tractor's not running. We're inside of a barn, so it's, it's not exactly, um, we can't actually go out and run it, but you can see the process. So I'm going to hit the red X, and now we'd be able to go out and actually run guidance.
So you have a couple options to engage guidance. One is pressing the steering wheel here on the screen. One would be pressing your headland button if you're not running a headland sequence. Uh, and another would be assigning it to one of your H3, H4 buttons, which you can see. So on your joystick, you actually can engage it from your H3 button. And then finally, we want to draw attention to the split screen capability. So you actually can pull up guidance as a split screen function, as seen here. By clicking the wrench in the settings, you can go into the full map and then back into the menu. So very simple to go in and actually make a change to what implement you have hooked up to choose your way lines, to choose your fields, to set boundaries, set obstacles. Very user friendly, fully integrated, and fully capable to meet the needs of your operation. Thanks, Zach.